Hey what's up guys welcome back to Mr 3D. I hope you are doing well. So in this video I'm going to show you an amazing blender add-on known as Radiant. It's basically a light manager along with ray mesh functionality. Ray mesh is fake light ray that is geometry and shader based. It emulates the volumetric look with only one click without increasing render times. To get Radiant you can find the link in the description down below. It will take you to blender market Radiant product page where you can read more about it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Blender. So I have opened up this scene and once you have the add-on file, just go over to edit, preferences, under add-ons, click install and locate the file wherever you have downloaded. Then search for it, click this checkbox to enable it and here you have all these different uh, options that you can customize. Just save preferences, then close preferences and here you can see that we have one spotlight, one point light and one area light in our scene. So to get started, press N on your keyboard and here you can see that we have a new panel called Radiant. And here we have sub panels. So the first one is Render Settings. This is just a shortcut of few of the settings from the Render panel. Then we have Light Panel. And Light Panel basically includes all the lights that are available in our scene. And you can also filter them by collections, tags, paint and type. Type includes point, sun, spot and area. And you can also tag your lights from this tag list panel. If you have any of the lights selected in your scene, you can see that we have the active light panel available as well. You can customize the active light which is the selected light in the viewport and I'm also going to go over to rendered mode and here you can see that we have the spotlight selected then we can change the color of the light, increase the power of the light as well. You can blend it like so to give it a bit of softness and it's very easy to control all the settings of the light from here. Then from the light panel you can change the color of multiple lights at the same time. For example I have this area light you can control this from here as well so on and so forth. So you can also add lights from this add light menu then you can select the type of light and uh, add the cursor center of the world or to the selected object. You can also add tags to your light, track to and the object so on and so forth. So now we are going to take a look at how to make the light ray mesh. So here I have the area light selected. What I can do now is go over to active light panel and here you can click on make ray mesh. And you should choose the default settings since they are the best one. So here we have ray mesh light. From the custom light properties you can customize the ray mesh. For example spread area you can increase it to make it more big. Then you can change emit light, glow depth how far the glow you want to be or how close then you have the direction of the light you can increase fall off glow opacity so on and so forth glow softness and i highly recommend you play around with the settings because this can take your renders to a whole new level then we have master strength which is overall strength of the light and this also works with ev then we have the resolution so you can increase the resolution of the light or you can decrease it you have smooth shading which you can see what it does then you have source you can enable the source light as well then you have source strength then you can also enable few more options in the render settings so there you have it now this is for the area light you can do the same thing with the spotlight and the point light so now i'm gonna go over to the spotlight make it ray mesh same settings as before and you get different settings according to the type of light so you can increase the depth just like that fall off opacity strength resolution and make it smooth shading now you can increase the strength of the light change the color you can see the quality of the light you can change the glow opacity you can also do the same with the point light as well make it ray mesh custom properties you can change the core opacity core size core strength core softness so on and so forth I highly recommend you play around with the settings and you can get the results that you want for your renders. And there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about Radiant in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss exciting Blender related content. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.